Beth Engel, professor emeritus at Sheridan College, was a well-loved faculty member. She taught in the social service worker program for many years. Beth was a true mentor and a role model for me. Definitely when I began teaching, um, she inspired me, she gave me tips about working with the students, she watching her work with the students was always just amazing because she just had such a, just a natural ability and an excellent rapport. She was probably one of the best listeners that I've ever talk, talked to. Um, listening to me, listening to the students, I don't know how she did it, it just seemed effortless. Professor Engel was a person who exuded passion, energy, and activity. She was a true listener and would help everyone from her colleagues, family, students, to the homeless youth on the streets. Very adventurous and would try everything and almost anything and uh, it was good. She was good all around, like all the things she was involved with and uh, all my life we were, um, she was interested in art, go to art exhibits. She was afraid of art, doing it herself, but she life loved art. Her husband lost his job at Shell in Sarnia. She came up with a wonderful idea to keep them both occupied, building a house. They took home building courses together and they built a house on Appleby. The doors in the pool of their home were always open to the kids in the neighborhood. After she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and her brain slipped from her grasp, her art became her savior. With the help of dear friends such as Sybil Rampin and nurse helper Mary, she was able to continue connecting with the world using her art at Joshua Creek Heritage Art Center. I was aware that Herbert wasn't managing too well because he wasn't a nurse, so that's when we got Mary and she was marvelous. But Bets would come and she would leave very, very happy. And we would all be happy because we all loved her so much. And no matter what she said, what she wore, what she did, everybody hugged her and loved her and gave her so much attention. And this, I think, was so reinforcing. Colors became her friends and her paintbrush became her tongue. When I went to visit uh, Bets in the uh, uh, seniors care home, uh, I went with a certain trepidation because I was concerned about how I would be able to relate to her and whether or not we'd connect. And yes, words didn't pass between us, but we certainly always gazed into each other's eyes and her hand would creep up to a scarf that I would be wearing. She had some favorites and uh, I especially wore colorful ones, usually purples or reds or something that combined that because I knew she had uh, a great love for those kinds of colors and often wore them herself. David Bajerni documented Engel's journey through Alzheimer's. Yeah, um, filming started, I think, uh, about five years ago, and uh, as you know, when you're making documentary, you sort of have your, your script or your outline, and then things change as you go, and um, it was very challenging to, to decide on what to focus on, uh, because it's such a delicate subject, and um, the protagonist or antagonist, depending on which way you look at it, um, has Alzheimer's, and it was very difficult to, to get interviews and uh, uh, it was difficult to know where the line was to ask questions for you know dealing with somebody <clears throat> that is um, going through this journey of Alzheimer's. 